Hi everybody and welcome to this expert division specific playthrough free video guide for the province playoffs tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Uh, remember to hit thumbs up on the video if you don't mind and make sure you subscribed as well. Now remember these are generic win directions they're not potentially indicative of the tournament. Uh, this is shots from the archive and this is standard wind strengths and there is a strong wind modifier here. So I'm just providing this content for some additional suggestions or routes. You will need to tweak it though based on the wind strength and wind angles you get. But should give you some ideas of how you might want to play some of the holes up in Expert. Timestamps in the description down below. Uh, starting with the quarterback at max distance with a power three ball. Second bounce as you can see is one ring to the left of the bunkers on the right. Then I switch to APOC. And I'm going with 5.8 topspin and two bars side spin to the right. That is max available topspin with APOC level 4 and 5. The adjustment is max plus 10 power 3, even though we are not at max distance of club. Bear in mind here that there are some dead spots in the rough, so there is a risk that you may get stuck in the rough near the green. However, if you do, it's still a very simple uh, rough iron wedge. There is a nice funnel down to the pin. Uh, it's full overpower, slower needle and 2.25 ball curl to the right. So the middle of the tee is going down through the middle of the triangle. Rolls out nicely onto the green. Don't want to reduce the top spin too much uh, because we'd roll long, but be careful of wind angles. If you get more tailwind or rather more crosswind angle and less headwind, then you will want to reduce the top spin on your drive. So pay attention to wind angle there, but there is one route to green for your eagle. Hole in one now for hole number two, the first of the par threes, and we're going to play with a quarterback and a kingmaker. And we want to keep the wind below eight miles per hour. So if you've got a kingslayer or a centurion, then make sure you switch to that. This is untested in anything above eight. It's always good to keep the wind below eight. Uh, we're going with 3.8 backspin, one bar side spin to the left. And then we're setting up with the ball guide through the hole with spin added at the final part where the ball guide gets clipped by the rough. So if you move one click up, you'll see it bounce normally on the fairway. We want to go one click below that. The adjustment is one on one, so very simple. 7.8 miles per hour wind, we're going to adjust 7.8 rings. Like I said, keep the wind below eight on this one. Pay attention to those all important wind angle tweaks as well, because you may have a different one than is shown here in the video, but that drops nicely for a hole in one. Two options here on hole number three. First of all, an aggressive option, fixed aim adjustment. We just pull back according to wind strength. You can use a berserker in higher winds. If you have a low wind with a berserker, I would switch to a wind zero ball, which is what I go with here. Uh, I could have played with a berserker though with 11.1, but a fusion ball gives me better needle stability and a higher wind means a better needle speed. 3.2 top spin, two bars left spin, Stretch out to um, power five max. Blue ring touching the rough line with the APOC five and six. I don't adjust here. I just pull back in line with the T to plus 14 with a 13 mile per hour wind. It will vary depending on your wind strength. If you have less uh, wind, if you have like 12, you wouldn't need to pull back as much. We're going with full overpower. It's a slightly slower needle with higher wind and 0.8 ball curl to the right. So the left edge of the fusion ball touching the inner wall of the adjustment ring on the right. Uh, this is a little bit of a uh, gamble. Sometimes you will end up in the rough or the sand. So if you're feeling brave, go for it. But bear in mind, you will need to alter your top spin amounts and your pull back depending on your wind strength. You will need more top spin for lower wind and less pullback, so bear that in mind. But there is an aggressive option for those who want to go for it. Let's have a look at safe option now on hole number three. If you don't want to go aggressive, then this might be the route for you. White ring touching the rough on the right at plus six with the rock level eight. Uh, with the rock level seven will be plus 11, and with the rock level nine, that will be plus five. 3.2 backspin, one bar side spin to the left, very simple adjustment, it's one on one. So 7.8 wind, just 7.8 rings. Nice and simple there. Hit perfect, no need for any curl or any overpower. Minor great left, minor great right, still gonna be absolutely fine. And this drive distance should be very, very consistent indeed. And we're getting it to around 310 yards. Second shot, sniper rough bump. 
close miss here in the video, you can correct it with pull angle or the tweak shown in the notepad should get you in, if not closer. I do a fringe check, plus nine at the beginning of the fringe is going to be mid distance, zero elevation, power two settings. Red ring all inside the rough, so none of the red ring overlapping the fairway. Four top spin, one left spin. Ball guide just through the hole. Again, the tweak on the notepad is not what I just in the video, that is a suggested recommendation. Uh, mid plus zero, power two, I believe, based on the miss in the video. The other thing is, of course, you could correct it with a pull angle. Entirely up to you, but something that you can uh, base yourself on and work from. Catches the rough nicely and the speed is good, just missing to the left on that one, just about a ball's width to the left. But there's the safe option for hole number three. Time for another hole in one. I'm going to show you a bounce up with the quarterback. You could play further back with the sniper. You could play a rough bump with the quarterback as well. Several options, but here is a suggestion if you want to play a standard bounce shot. Six back spin and one bar side spin to the left, first of all. Then we set up at the minimum distance line with the quarterback, red ring touching the bunker, ball guide just to the right edge of the hole. Then I remove half a bar of left spin. So it is a re-spin shot here. Six back spin, half a bar of left spin is the final amount. Minimum distance line. Then we just min plus 15, power four. I'm pushing rings because the trees are in the way. Awkward wind angle here, but this one has a chance. Uh, wind angle tweaks will be needed, of course. You could go with a little click or two of left or right curl if you have a different angle to me. But a perfect ball here just dropping in left side of cup. So min plus 15, power four settings. Hole number five, two ways you can attack the uh, pin here for the eagle. I'm gonna show you the guardian bounce on this video. The other one is an aggressive rough bump, but you would need a side spin four ball. So in the interest of free to play, I'm gonna show you the guardian shot. One and a half backspin with the quarterback and it's white ring touching the rough at plus zero. So one and a half backspin only, white ring touching the rough at plus zero. Again, one-on-one -on -one adjustment. So 8.4 wind, we're going to adjust 8.4 rings. There we go. And now it's time to take our shot. Nice, simple bounce over here. In my opinion, it's not worth sending it. Of course, you can try if you want to, but I think there's two options really laying up. You can either do the Guardian or the Rough Bump. So you've got two options to choose there. Of course, if you want to try and blast it, you can do as well. You may get lucky. 291 yards, fairly consistent outcome on that drive. Second shot, we're going to play with the Guardian and we're going to go max backspin. I'm looking at my plus yardage here. TC plus 10 on the notepad. That means true club distance, 10% elevation. So for every one yard you are away from max distance, which is plus 12, we're going to reduce 2.5% slider. So plus 10 would be 95% slider, uh, plus 8 would be 90% slider, and so on. So plus 1 here uh, is going to be around the 75% slider mark. It's actually 72 if we want to be totally accurate. Setting up there with the second bounce before the pin and also to the right to compensate for the wind push making our adjustment quite tricky down the slope there. Be as accurate as you can. Not a totally accurate pull from me there, but it gives you an idea of the type of shot we want to play. Like I said, the alternative is a rough bump, but you would need a side spin four ball. Just need to aim a little bit more to the right there, but it's still a very good chance with the Guardian. So true club distance, 10% elevation. Very nasty wind angle here on hole number six. We've got a nice safe and secure eagle Maybe you would get lucky for the albatross, though. Starting with a quarterback, blue ring, touching the rough at plus nine. Two top spin, three bars side spin to the left with a kingmaker. Then we're going to switch to our apocalypse bag with the cataclysm or the big dog. Adjustment, max plus 10. 7.8 wind here, max plus 10 on the adjust even though we're not at max distance of club. Reason I'm setting up with the quarterback is because there's no plus yardage with the APOC and it gets around those issues with people having different level of club. Uh, outer wall curl to the left, try and hit perfect here, of course. Fairway is a little bit narrow. 
Haven't tested this one with minor grates, so try and hit perfect. Top spin takes us nicely down the fairway, approaches the rough without risking it. Drive distance, 309 yards. Second shot, playing with the big dog or the cataclysm. This is just to get it to green for the eagle. But like I said, there is an outside chance, the albatross. Setting up at plus one, red ring touching the rough with this club level. Then I'm adding spin, 1.2 backspin and three right spin. You'll see the second bounce is just inside the fringe. And then we're gonna make our adjustment. Even though we are not at max distance, once again, max plus 10 on the adjust. Higher wind strength here will take you a little bit more into overpower. So if that is the case, add that on. We are just inside max distance of club with 7.8 wind though here. And then I'm going with just a little bit more than outer wall curl to the right. Again, we could go with a little bit more or less depending on the outcome here, but it's a difficult shot to dial in the albatross. Maybe a fraction too much curl in this instance, but we've just burnt the right edge of the cup looking from the tee. Very easy put for the eagle. The aggressive option, of course, is going up on the right hand side. Power five, wind three ball, and then you've got a rough bump between the bunkers. But that is uh, a free to play option there. Safe eagle. If you want to go aggressive, of course, by all means, give it a go. Hole in one here on hole number seven, but bear in mind this is a difficult one to dial in. There is a long and fairly high second bounce, so pay particular attention to wind strength and wind angle here. You'll see it's a one-on-one -on -one shot on the notepad. 12.01 is written. If you don't know anything about 11.59 or 12.01 pull angles, check out the Academy tutorial on that. There's a three-part series on the channel homepage. Brilliant thing to introduce into your game. First of all, I'm playing with a sail ball. You don't need to do that. A kingmaker would be fine, but it gives me the exact amount of side spin that I need, which is two bars right spin, and we're going with four and a half backspin. Ball guide pointing to the right edge of the cup, and the yellow ring is touching the beginning of the fringe, so a few reference points there. Try and keep the wind below eight miles per hour, because if you've got a wind that is higher than eight, you will adjust to the minimum distance line. So this one is a case of needing potentially a wind four ball if you're unlucky enough to get high wind. But there we're making our adjustment, small 1201 on the pull angle here. So look at your wind arrow and it's one on one. So 7.2 in wind, 7.2 rings. I think you've got 8.2 rings from that position to adjust. So you might get away with it with an 8.2 but the wind angle tweaks will be needed as well, but that will give you a framework to build from on this tricky par three. Time to go aggressive on hole eight. Crosswind, but a little bit of tailwind, and I think it's enough, in my opinion, to go full blast with a berserker. So that's what I'm gonna load up, 11.1, .1, and we're gonna go with 5.8 top spin, two left spin, max distance with the APOC five and above, and with this club level, it's half of the blue ring inside the rough. Adjustment is max plus 10. So max plus 10 here. You could play with an apocalypse level four, but you're gonna have a shakier needle. I adjust my max plus 10. Then I push up five yards with APOC five and above. If you've got APOC four, you will need to push up a total of 12 yards. Then we're gonna go full overpower, outer wall curl to the left, try and hit perfect. Great right here is danger. If you think you're a great right hitter, uh, and there's a danger of that, then set up a little bit further to the left to try and safeguard. Great left has been fine for me. We want to catch a bit of a glitch roll. Anything over 435 yards is going to be fine. Second shot, we're going to have a go with a no-spin shot with the thorn. Fringe check here, FC on the notepad. Plus three, so that's where the bullseye is over, beginning of the fringe, in line with the pin. That's plus three. Then we're going to find our position, move the target back, have the ball guide just short of the cup. You'll see I've zoomed in there for you. No spin at all. Plus three here, based on the miss in the video, so this is a tweaked adjustment, I would recommend you try 66% on the slider, but you need 50% elevation. The side wind here causes us to play, uh, or to need to play with more elevation. So plus three fringe check, 66% slider. It is 2% for every yard difference. More information on reference points using the slider. 
can be found on the Academy tutorials once again. So if there's any terminology you're not familiar with, go and check out that playlist because chances are I've answered that question for you. So true, uh, fringe check here plus three is 66% slider. That's my recommendation based on the close miss in the video. Time to finish with an albatross here on hole number nine, setting up with the rock bullseye in the middle of the fairway. With the rock level eight, it's at plus four. With the rock level nine is at plus three and the rock level seven would be at plus nine. Then we switch to Apocalypse and Goliath. 5.8 top spin, half a bar of side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust. This is more the headwind angle. You might get more of a level crosswind. You may get a hint of tailwind. The shots should still work nicely in all of the various wind angles that you might get. Max plus 10, maximum overpower, slower needle. Even slower needle if you get the slight tailwind angle, of course. Uh, no curl, just hit perfect. Bounces on the fairway, second bounce in the rough. And the top spin rolls out nicely around 360 yards. Very small risk of a dead rollout, but you should always be out of the rough here. Second shot, I'm using the Goliath because I may get a slightly shorter drive and I want a safeguard against that. Um, if you want to try and risk with the Grizzly, you can do, but you need to work out a different adjustment. Fringe check, plus two. In line with the pin, beginning of the fringe, bullseye right over there, plus two is going to be 60% slider. It's all on the notepad there for you. 10% elevation. So 10% elevation, the number underneath that is the slider value. Adding spin around four top spin, yellow ring just by the rough line, and then adjusting here, 60% slider, 10% elevation, pulling to the bullseye in this case. Make sure you always use the same method of whoever you're trying to follow. Perfect ball here. Uh, this one just sneaks in on the edge. The notepad value on the screen should be dropping at the pin, but always check your fringe check yourself and make sure you're worrying about wind angle if you want to, but it's a very good chance with a rough bump, there shouldn't be too much wind effect to deal with. So there we go, fringe check, 10% elevation, plus two, 60% slider, good luck. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots, Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.